paid for by friends of Brian Stewart. Welcome in to a Thursday edition of the Bruce Hooley Show. Glad to have you along on 98.9 The Answer. Uh, we have a primary coming up on Tuesday, and we have many consequential races uh, in that primary. Uh, I've introduced you to some candidates that I support, and I have made clear who I do not support in the U.S. Senate race, and who I do not support is Matt Dolan, who is running against Bernie Moreno and Frank LaRose. Uh, this morning at 8 o'clock, uh, Matt Dolan appeared on Hugh Hewitt's show. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, Bernie Moreno and Frank LaRose have uh, also been on. In fact, I know Frank was on a couple days ago, and I'm pretty sure Bernie has been on. So uh, Hugh's an equal opportunity interviewer, and that's great. I'd love to be an equal opportunity interviewer here, uh, but Matt Dolan won't come on. And the reason Matt Dolan won't come on the show is because Matt Dolan's afraid of being asked questions about his co-sponsorship of the Fairness Act in the Ohio legislature. Uh, Matt Dolan knows he'd get a tough interview here. Uh, he didn't get one this morning, and uh, it was a softball, uh, very friendly interview, and it allowed Matt Dolan to lie to you about his uh, conservative bona fides, which do not exist. Matt Dolan is not an authentic conservative. Matt Dolan is not worthy of your vote, and I will tell you right now, flat out, if Matt Dolan is the Republican candidate for Senate, based on winning the primary on March 19th, if he is the Republican candidate for Senate in November, I will not vote for Matt Dolan. That's right, I will allow to go by the boards my opportunity to vote Sherrod Brown out of the Senate because I see no wisdom, no uh, reason to put Sherrod Brown in a Matt Dolan costume into the US Senate. Uh, Matt Dolan, here's my test on politicians. Do they, do they vote for and will they stand for things that are moral and right according to scriptural principles? The answer on Matt Dolan is no. And he has already proven that with his sponsorship of the Fairness Act. Now, fairness is a great thing. Uh, it's sadly not in uh, evidence much in our country. But Matt Dolan is not only a supporter of the Fairness Act, which has been introduced in the Ohio legislature every year since like 2011 by this uh, one whacked Northeast Ohio uh, legislator named Nikki Antonio. She's from Lakewood. Lakewood is a you know exceedingly woke community. And Matt Dolan has, like the Republican Party, like culture, has gradually joined arms with a movement that damages children. You just heard the numbers in the top of the hour from the Salem News update that 30% of Gen Z, and that is Gen Z is identified as people who were born between 1997 and 2012. So people who are uh, 12 years old to 27 years old. 30% of Gen Z women identify as lesbian. That is, as was said in the Salem News update, a social contagion. That is driven by media coverage. That is driven by TikTok and Instagram. And it is also driven by people who lend credence to it. People like Matt Dolan. This is a horrible uh, movement. It damages kids. And the way you know it damages kids and you, the way you know it's nefarious is that when it comes down to our schools, and it doesn't come down to every school, but it comes down to some of our schools. When it comes down to our schools, it is almost always done in a manner that if it can be accomplished, it is kept secret from parents. It is kept secret from parents when possible. Now, a lot of times we have vigilant school boards, we have vigilant superintendents, we have vigilant administrators, we have vigilant parents who don't allow it to be kept secret from parents. But if it can be kept secret, 
there is very often an effort made to keep it secret. Why is that? Why would they not want parents to know if this is a great thing? Why would they not want parents to know? Because they're trying to separate kids, siphon them off so that they can program them to think the way the people who are enslaved in this movement want them to think, want them to act in the worst cases. And it's not this way in every case, but in the worst cases, these children are being groomed. Well, I would say in every case they're being groomed actually but not in every case are they being um molested are they being groomed to become overt victims of the person who is schooling them instructing them painting uh, homosexuality in a friendly light not in every case it does happen though we see the headlines all the time it's a lot like you know, immigration and crime, we're told Lake and Riley's murdered in Georgia. We're told by the mayor of Athens, Georgia, there's no link between immigration and crime. Okay, well, then every single time I see an immigrant on Twitter who is the perpetrator of a crime, I'm going to retweet it so that we do what we individually can do to show people we're being lied to. And when they tell you that 30% of Gen Z is lesbian, there is no way that statistic is true. There is no way, if that statistic is true, it is good for culture, it is good for society, it is good for order. It is meant to divide us. It is meant to have people question, A, God's authority in their life, B, what is orderly and moral, and by the way, leads to more fulfillment in life. Every study shows people who are married and devoted to their spouse and faithful to their spouse and have children are happier, more content than people who immerse themselves in an LGBTQ lifestyle. But Matt Dolan advocates for it, supports it wholeheartedly to the point that he is a co-sponsor of the bill. Uh, let me just read straight from a report from the Ohio Capital Journal, which my friend Jack Windsor, who hosts the Windsor Report here at five o'clock every afternoon, uh, made me laugh when he referred to the Ohio Capital Journal as the Ohio Communist Journal. Uh, when this bill came back up the last time in the Ohio legislature, Matt Huffman, who's a good senator, a great senator from Lima, the guy behind school choice. By the way, Matt Dolan tried to take credit for school choice in Ohio today. Just because you vote for something doesn't mean you've led the effort for school choice. You know, the people who deserve the credit for the SAFE Act in Ohio are Gary Click and Jenna Powell and Matt Huffman in the Senate. Matt Dolan on school choice, not a leader. Great to be a follower of a good movement, but he's not a leader. But he goes on Hugh Hewitt this morning and talks about, you know, how he led on this and he led on this. and He's going to be tough on the border. He's 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 just lying to you. He is not an authentic conservative. He is the kind of Republican legislator that most frustrates you as an authentic conservative. He's a John Thune, Mitch McConnell settler. You know how you know that? You know how you know he is? Who's endorsed him? Who are his two big endorsements? Who's he proud of endorsing him? Rob Portman and Mike DeWine. Rob Portman and Mike DeWine. I about wanted to puke this morning when Hugh Hewitt said Rob Portman is his favorite senator of all time. Look, I get it. There are those, and Hugh's among them, and I staunchly disagree with him on this, who believe that, you know, as Republicans, we have to compromise, we have to build bridges, we have to, like, give a little... I will not give on issues of morality. I will not. I will just remove myself from that discussion because if all we have to vote for are people in the Ohio Senate, or excuse me, in the U.S. Senate race from Ohio, who are in figuratively in bed with the LGBTQ movement, and Matt Dolan is, then I'm not going to be a party to that. I've told you before, I'll never vote ever for someone who is not pro-life. And I will never vote for someone who would advocate, and Matt Dolan does, for policy positions that are harmful to children in the state of Ohio. He can say all he wants about school choice and whatever other things he wants to trumpet 
as really caring about kids. If you are a co-sponsor, and he is, of the Equality Act in the state of Ohio, then you are advocating for an organization like Equality Ohio that wants to keep secret from parents things regarding their children's sexuality, that wants to lure children into an alternative lifestyle that will lead them nowhere but a miserable place. Matt Dolan is not befitting of my vote. And if you are like-minded as I am, uh, like-minded with me rather, on the issues that you hear me discuss here every day from 11 to one, then Matt Dolan is someone that, hey, daddy's money pays for great commercials. I've watched him, oh, he looks great on the border. Oh, he looks great here, he looks great there. He does a great job of disparaging Bernie Moreno and Frank LaRose. Matt Dolan would be a disaster. He would just be a continuation of Sherrod Brown's policies in the US Senate and a settler. That's what Matt Dolan is. Don't vote for him. Do not vote for him. 71, a couple of thunderstorms this evening. Some of those could be severe. We could get some flash flooding, hail, damaging wind, even a tornado low 57. A shower tomorrow, the high 60. Partly sunny, breezy on Saturday, the high 59. Clouds and breaks of sun, a breezy day on Sunday, the high 50. Cloudy, breezy, and cold, a rain or snow shower on Monday, on Monday afternoon at 37. I'm Steve Williams on 98.9 FM, The Answer. Headmaster Hall here from Dublin Classical Academy. At Dublin Classical Academy, we have the tuition-free solution to relieve concerns about the current public education system. Dublin Classical Academy is the first Hillsdale College-supported tuition-free school. Think thing about each of us deciding what kind of country. And I'll say, I think we all know um, this election is as much as any. For 10 years, Patron Mobile has been America's only Christian conservative cell phone provider. And when I say only, trust me, they're the only one. Glenn and the team have been great supporters of America First, which is why I'm proud to partner with them. Patriot Mobile offers dependable nationwide coverage, giving you the ability to access all three major networks, which means you get the same coverage you've been accustomed to, but without funding the left. When you switch to Patriot Mobile, you're sending the message that you support free speech, religious freedom, the sanctity of life, the Second Amendment, and our military, veterans, and first responder heroes. Their 100% U.S.-based customer service team makes switching easy. Keep your number, keep your phone, or upgrade. Their team will help you find the best plan for your needs. Just go to PatriotMobile.com slash Gorka or call 972 Patriot. Get free activation when you use code Gorka. Join me. Make the switch today. That's PatriotMobile.com slash G-O-R-K-A. PatriotMobile.com slash Gorka or call 972 Patriot. President Trump calls Matt Dolan unfit to serve in the United States Senate. The feelings mutual. Dolan publicly attacked Trump on Twitter, calling him a liar. He gave more than 20 grand to rhino Republicans who supported Trump's impeachment. Dolan said the Republican Party should move on from Trump, and Dolan opposes Trump's America First policies. Dolan says he's not running on the agenda of former President Trump. Trump hate, rhino, wrong for Ohio. Send a pro-Trump conservative fighter to the set. Bernie Marino. Breaking news in the Republican race for Ohio's U.S. Senate seat. President Trump now endorsing Bernie Marino. Trump endorsed Bernie Marino. My friend Bernie Marino. My complete and total endorsement. Bernie Marino, the Trump-endorsed conservative for Senate. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this act. Paid for by Club for Growth Action and not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. Club for Growth Action. Everyone knows the old saying, nothing lasts forever. Well, whoever said that obviously never bought a time to. Not only do your maintenance fees and assessment fees go on forever, they go up forever. I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Over 10 years ago, I was a time to sell. But once I saw the dark side of the business, I quit. I started helping folks get out of the timeshare. Since then, we've helped over 30,000 families by getting them out of bad timeshare. If your timeshare agreement goes on forever, if you were told timeshares are a great investment or your maintenance fees will never go up, you have questions, we have the answer. Give us a call. I guarantee if we take you as a client, we'll get you out of your timeshare or you'll pay nothing. 
Call Leslie now for your free information kit, 800-839-8484. That's 800-839-8484, 800-839-8484. Shout out to John, who reached out to me yesterday after hearing me talk about soft step carpet in Plain City. I'm getting with John on Friday afternoon. Love to come over to your home, measure your space, and get you with hooked up with either beautiful new carpet or LVP, luxury vinyl plank. What is that? That is the flooring that looks like wood, looks like tile, only it's better because it's much easier to install. It's a one day install, not a week, not problematically in terms of you having to relocate or stay out of a room for days and days and days. You can't damage it. That's why they send a wire brush with the displays in our store, which is located on 161, just down the road from Costco. You can come in, you can look around, you'll see that we have all the major brands and we'll get it installed much faster. People often compliment us on our installation. Our crews are very hardworking, very conscientious, and you'll save money because our overhead is not anywhere close to what you see with big box stores that you're passing along major highways. 161 just down from Costco. Email me, brucehooley at gmail.com like John did, or go to my website, brucehooley.com, and fill out the flooring form that you will see for soft step carpet and flooring. So this is the issue on which I get the most criticism, which I don't care because I am uh, always going to side with uh, what the Bible says is uh, true. And the Bible says God created men and women. So I'm against the transgender lies that are out there. Uh, he says that marriage is between a man and a woman. So gay marriage is not validated by God or recognized by God. He says that we were created to be fruitful and multiply. So a man and a woman in holy matrimony, having children, being devoted to those children, sacrificing for each other, the husband for the wife, the wife for the husband, both for the kids. That is how God ordained it. That is why I support it, why I always will support it, and why I will always be an opponent of organizations and agencies and mind viruses that push back against it. I got a lot of opponents. I've got a lot of people who try to disparage me and come after me. That's fine. Uh, I don't give any weight to opinions of people who don't matter to me. And you shouldn't either. You should not allow other people's opinions, other people who you do not respect, other people who do not share your values. You should not allow their opinion of you to affect how you think of you. Because if that happens, then you are allowing the forces of darkness in our world to shape how you think about yourself and your effectiveness in our world then will be reduced, will be diminished. But let me just try to build out a little bit of why I am so staunchly uh, determined to defend kids from these lies that are spread to them by Equality Ohio, sanctioned by the Ohio Education Association and sanctioned by Matt Dolan. Let me read you from the story about his co-sponsorship in the Ohio Senate of the Fairness Act, which, you know, do Democrats ever tell you the truth when they name something? The Inflation Reduction Act, did that reduce inflation? No, it didn't. Uh, the uh, Build Back Better agenda of the Biden administration, has that been true? No. American Rescue Plan, have we been rescued? No. So the Fairness Act is not anything about fairness. It is about indoctrination. But this is the story from the Ohio Capitol Journal where Matt Dolan issues a statement saying, yes, I support it. I wanna be, I wanna make the LGBTQ movement a protected class in the state of Ohio. And he says, Along with Ohio's competitive state taxes, reduced regulations, and effective workforce training programs, the Fairness Act will make Ohio a more welcoming place to operate a business, relocate, and raise a family. I've said many times, so I'll reinforce it here. His co-sponsorship of this act came before all of the blowing up of companies from California like Intel and others coming to Ohio. Do we have the Fairness Act in law? No, we don't. Does it have a ghost of a chance in the Ohio General Assembly of passing? No, it doesn't. So Matt Dolan is doing this 
not for the reasons he says, oh, we got to have it to help business. He's doing it so that he can have a better position to run on to become a U.S. senator. He is doing it so that he is closer to who he knew at the time he said this would likely be his opponent if he could get there through a primary in the general election, and that would be the sitting senator at the time and still Sherrod Brown. Why is this so bad? This is where we're headed. Here's a Minnesota legislature yesterday in the Minnesota legislative session talking about opposition to abstinence education programs in Minnesota schools. Listen to what she says. Well, she thinks it's weird that adults should weigh in on when their kids should start having sex. They should be able to have it whenever the kids want to, because we all know kids make such great decisions on matters of emotion. Here is uh, how bad it can get and why I rail against these programs. Elk Grove, Illinois, news report about a new club in the high school? No. Junior high? No. In the third grade. Hmm. All other activities were listed in the weekly newsletter, except the UBU club. Um, not an accident, ladies and gentlemen, not an accident. Now, if you, I doubt they have it, but if Elk Grove, Illinois wanted to have a LifeWise Academy where they teach the characteristics of God personified in every Christian believer through the Holy Spirit's presence, in their heart and in their soul, uh, parents would have to be uh, on board with that to the point where they would have to sign up. The kids would have to sign up and the kids would have to be taken off site. But the UBU club uh, meets at lunch and they just forgot to put the uh, activity in the last newsletter. Uh, you'll hear the principal explain that and more about this club and uh, Greg Gutfeld of Fox News weighs in on the decision by medical authorities in England to turn and flee the crazy policies that allowed doctors over there to issue puberty blockers to minors and have uh, sexual reassignment surgery. Gutfeld makes a great point about where we hopefully are headed in the future of this country, but I'm not optimistic because we have fake Republicans like Matt Dolan who are enemies on these issues. With SRN News, Thomas Thomas. The latest gauge of inflation came in hotter than expected. Prices at the wholesale level, as measured by the producer price index, rose six tenths of one percent in January from February. While President Biden campaigns today in Michigan, former President Trump is in a Florida courtroom. A federal judge will hear arguments on whether to dismiss the classified documents prosecution of Mr. Trump. Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is planning to announce his running mate in 12 days. Spring-like weather across parts of the country, but not in the mile-high city, Denver and surrounding areas, dealing with a major snowstorm. And gorilla hail is what they're calling huge chunks of ice. 
fell from the sky across parts of Missouri, well as Kansas. Stocks are lower on Wall Street. The Dow is down 99 points, and the NASDAQ is off 33. More details, srnnews.com. The new FedNow system is paving the way for the digital dollar. It grants the government unprecedented access to your financial transactions. This isn't just an invasion of privacy. It's a direct assault on your liberty and hard-earned money. It's another reason why I recommend physical gold IRAs from the Birch Gold Group. I'm Lance Wolnow. I'm a news analyst and a podcaster with nearly 25 million downloads to people just like you who cherish their financial independence. A Precious Metals IRA can help you avoid the scrutiny of Big Brother while also preserving your retirement savings through almost anything, including economic crashes, political instability, and even hyperinflation. To find out more, get your pre-info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word FAITH to 989898. Birch Gold Group is the only gold company I trust. Get their free info kit and see how a gold IRA can help you. Text FAITH to 989898. Remember, there's no strings attached. Text FAITH to the number 989898 right now. And I pray you're blessed with continued news, opinion, passion. Here, 989 FM, The Answer, anywhere you go. With The Answer's mobile app at 989theanswer.com. Also on your smart speakers, tune in for iHeart. One server could see two of your needs. It's time to get the kitchen of your dreams. Update, upgrade, uplift with Kitchen Tune-Up. Do your cabinets need an update? Have you always wanted a new modern door style? Or maybe you just want to start from scratch and redo everything. Kitchen Tune-Up makes the process enjoyable and hassle-free. Stop in. Let's make a plan. We'll bring your vision to life. Zero percent financing is available right off Wilson Ridge Road in Worthington. Go to kitchentuneup.com for a free in-home estimate. Update, upgrade, uplift with Kitchen Tune-Up. Across Ohio, conservative voters have a lot of questions for Bernie Moreno. Hey, Bernie Moreno, why did you sit on a foundation board for six years, which contributed more than $2 million to Planned Parenthood, a leading abortion provider, and transgender rights groups? Hey, Bernie Moreno, why do you call gun owners like me mentally ill? I believe in President Trump. But you are no Donald Trump, Bernie Moreno. Who knows what Bernie Moreno really believes? But we know what Frank LaRose has done. Frank LaRose, a proven home run hitter for pro-life, the Second Amendment, parents' rights, and taxpayers. On Tuesday, March 19th, elect Frank LaRose U.S. Senate Republican primary. Frank LaRose, proven courage. Frank LaRose, endorsed by Ohio Right to Life Act, Buckeye Firearms Association, and Family Pack Federal. Paid for by Patriotic Veterans Inc., a 501c4 committee not coordinated with any candidate or campaign committee. Because truth is not a left-wing value, and the left lies as easy as you breathe. You need the clarity and wisdom of Dennis Prager every weekday afternoon from 1 to 3 on 98.9 FM. The answer. So I hope you will prioritize becoming healthier and hope you will care enough about our country not to buy products from big box stores put there by corporations that donate to all kinds of the woke causes that we're fighting against. The LGBTQ agenda, the Planned Parenthood agenda, the uh, anti-life, the murderous supposed uh, reproductive rights situation. It's abortion. They don't want to say the name. It's funded by a lot of the big corporations that put those products on your stores. Products like coming from Unilever, from Procter & Gamble. What if you could do business and get the same products, only better, because they're made from plants. They don't have the toxins in them. They're not made cheaply. They're not uh, artificially manipulated with benzenes and nitrates to extend their shelf life. But they're made from plants, and they're shipped right to your door. And the company donates to pro-life causes and is very pro-law enforcement. You can do it. If you go and inquire, leave your information, I'll reach out to you. PatriotSwitch.com slash Bruce is the website. PatriotSwitch.com dot com slash bruce get those great products shipped right to your door from patriotswitch.com slash bruce so i spent the first half hour of the program talking about an interview that infuriated me today on uh, the hugh hewitt show it was the infuriating part was matt dolan positioning himself as an authentic conservative uh he is not uh, no authentic conservative would be the co-sponsor of the fairness act in the ohio general assembly And what I know will happen is that the trolls, dolts, and imbeciles out there uh, will say, well, you're anti-LGBTQ kids. No, no, I'm not anti-LGBTQ kids. 
I have great empathy for kids who are trapped in that social contagion, who are programmed toward it on TikTok and on Instagram. Uh, I want to save kids from a life of misery, from higher suicide rates, from uh, anything that is not true, that is portrayed to a child as true. This will make you happier. This will make you more fulfilled. This is who you authentically are. All of those things are damaging to kids. So I don't do, um, be honest, I don't do a very good job of conveying my concern for the kids while I'm railing against the people who are damaging the kids. So let me play a cut from someone who does a much better job at it than I do. And that someone is Michael Knowles of the Daily Wire. He was confronted at a recent Turning Point USA event by a biological man in a dress who uh, identifies as female, but is decidedly not female. Uh, Michael Knowles gives a measured, truthful response to why this is not good for this person. That is so well said and so true. So, of course, it's well said because it's based in truth. The LGBTQ movement is not based in truth. I don't believe the people who lead the movement believe their own lies. If they're really about what's best for kids, this is what's best for you, right? That's what they always say. Well, then it's curious to me that if this lifestyle that you advocate for is best for kids, then why when kids decide, oh, no, I'm not transgender, why someone like Chloe Cole, who now says I made the most horrible mistake of my life when I had gender reassignment surgery and all these kinds of things, why are her most vocal vitriolic critics the people from the movement she just left? Because after all, I mean, if they authentically care for her, if they love her and if they want what's best for her and all the other lines that they spit out when she's in the house with them when she's in the movement with them if all of those things are true that oh we just genuinely care so much and we got to get you away from your parents and we got to get you away from people who wouldn't allow you to be your true authentic self why when the person who is lgbtq decides you know what uh how i don't I, this is not this is not who i am uh, I really want to be who God authentically created me to be. Why is the hatred never more ardent than it is from the people whose movement they just left? I wait an answer to that. I've asked that question many times. I've never gotten an answer to that question. And again, like this story I told you out of Elk Grove, Illinois, why are you trying to keep this a secret whenever you can from parents? These clubs that you have, you don't want the parents to know. You want to keep it a secret from parents. Uh, back to the news report on uh, Elk Grove, Illinois. And the principal of the school trying to explain why no details on the LGBTQ club for third graders were included in the letter, the newsletter that went out from the school. Oh, accidentally.
Yeah, that uh, lady who just spoke is an activist who is railing against this. Again, used to be commonplace. What, when you were a kid, right? What did your parents tell you? Don't talk to strangers. Don't take candy from strangers. Don't go anywhere with strangers. Anybody who tried to divide a kid from their parent when I was growing up or even in the last as recently as 10, 15 years ago, that was seen as concerning. That was seen as problematic. Now it's like, oh, parents, they don't understand you. They don't know. They, come on, parents. It's no different than the depiction of fathers on virtually every sitcom over the last 25 years is what? Strong leaders in the home, measured, calm, caring. No, they're portrayed as buffoons and idiots because you don't need a father, right? Women don't need a husband. A woman needs a husband like a fish needs a bicycle. How many times have we heard that, right? If we can divide the kids, if we can keep them away from parents, then we can sexualize them and we can introduce anarchy into the culture. And okay, so the kids are miserable. It really doesn't matter. Now, I, I don't know if it's that nefarious that the people who try to recruit kids into sexual reassignment surgery in that particular movement, I don't know if they're that nefarious in it. wouldn't surprise me because when you get separated from God's truth, I mean, you'll believe anything. You'll advocate for anything. But finally... And thankfully, some people are seeing the light. I told you yesterday about England's National Health Service announcing that kids in England will no longer be given puberty blocker prescriptions after doctors there concluded that there were serious safety concerns. Will this come to America? I don't know. It should. Here's Greg Gutfeld on Fox. And Gutfeld is a, kind of a, you know, snarky, comedic guy. But don't let that keep you from at certain times on certain issues listening to him because he's very 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 insightful on this one And I'd add Riley Gaines to that list as well. There are a lot out there. Hopefully you're on that list. Don't allow the labels to scare you. One couple of thunderstorms this evening. Some of those could be severe. We could get some flash flooding, hail, damaging wind, even a tornado low 57. A shower tomorrow behind 60. Partly sunny, breezy on Saturday. <laughs> For God so loved it, you, you know the thing, he gave his only, anyway, that he who hath understanding count the number of the beast, for his number of man, and his number is 600 million billion, 600, 60, 100, 60 billion, 100 million and, and six. In the beginning was the word, and the word was true to national depression. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And of quote, repeat the line. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Believe me, I was there. He, I used to drive an 18-wheeler through the Garden of Eden. 
Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, your dog-faced pony soldiers. Ehud reached with his left hand, threw the sword from his right thigh, and plunged it into the king's belly. Then he said, listen, fat, so now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Mexico. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, and you ain't black, let the little children come into me. Because when I got hairy legs, I turned blonde in the sun. And talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Epi. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills. Sends you great matches. Then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. You'll sleep better knowing you've got a great deal on a great mattress because you got it from Mac Mattress Outlet and the Discount Shopping Club. Right now, get a $500 certificate from Mac Mattress Outlet for any mattress purchase for only $250. These certificates go fast, and when they're gone, they're gone. For details, log on to the Discount Shopping Club at 989theanswer.com. We're selling a lot of homes. What? That's right. This is Ross DiGiorgio of Ross Realtors, and we have already sold a lot of homes in 2024. That's really incredible, but the market is heating up, interest rates are coming down, and houses are coming on the market. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, now's the time to pick an experienced real estate company to represent you. Call Ross Realtors, 614-599-6100, or online at rossrealtors.com, and you'll see a chat button. Let's chat. Slept great last night. Hope you did as well. MyPillow.com can help you with that. Mike Lindell really appreciates the fact that you guys have kept him in business. Look, I mean, it's been an organic movement ever since Mike Lindell was disparaged and demonized and attempted to be canceled after the 2020 presidential election. The temerity of someone insisting that the vote be authenticated. I mean, weren't we supposed to just take the word of Don Lemon and other Democrats that on the night of the election, it was the most secure election in history? Never mind. Don't look. Well, I want you to look. I want you to look at MyPillow.com. I want you to look at the prices at MyPillow.com. A queen-size set of Giza Dream Bed Sheets, $59.98. Has that ever been lower? No, it has not. How about a king-size set, Bruce? Yes, $69.98, lowest prices in history. Of course, don't forget the MyPillow itself, the My Slippers, the MyPillow towel sets, all the great products there. You'll find something that is perfect for the person who is the hardest to buy for on your gift list at mypillow.com just use my promo code bruce to get the lowest prices ever at mypillow.com so we get the inflation numbers and then we get the corrected inflation numbers a couple of weeks later and we got the corrected inflation number for february today and the corrected inflation number is uh, not the number the white house wanted you to see. Uh, here is the report this morning from two hours ago on CNBC. Uh-oh. June of 22. What happened in June of 2022? Oh, that's when inflation was 9.1%. Highest in 40 years. That can't be good. We're going back to that. Wait a minute. Aren't we lowering rates? Isn't the economy like robust? Here's more from CNBC.
Oh, ouch. Well, never fear. Joe Biden has an alternate view of the economy. Here he is yesterday. Oh, nobody cares what your dad said because nobody knows your dad and nobody wants to hear you lie to them. But I'm curious, uh, in the midst of that, Joe Biden said something. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, the lowest inflation rates of any country where? How many countries are in America? Is he aware that we are a country? Is he talking about South America? We, uh, one more time, Joe, please explain. Sharp as attack, folks. It's more done in an hour than you and I get done all day long. Staff can't keep up with him. Uh, what about, remember when they told us uh, inflation was transitory? Inflation was transitory. It was temporary. It was good. Remember? I remember. I remember they told us all that. Um, Janet Yellen. Asked that question by Fox Business reporter Edward Lawrence yesterday. Uh, she's got a word for you now that she'd like you to know. Yes, to most sane people, to most people who take the meaning of words to be what the meaning of words are. Transitory means you're transitioning to something. Means that, okay, well, it's a blip. It's an exception. It's an outlier. Sure, it's high this month. The stimulus checks went out, whatever, but it's going to go back down. The supply chains are going to be solved. Everything will be great. Don't worry about it. It's nothing to worry about, nothing to panic about. Uh, that is not what has happened. And, and we got inflation. They keep telling us it's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. It's coming down from all-time highs, from four-decade highs. And now it's, uh-oh, plateauing. And maybe inching back up. Maybe inching back up. Uh, the target rate that the Fed sets for acceptable inflation, you well know it. You've heard me talk about it with Josh Pick on the Aptus Retirement Blueprint radio show a bazillion times. Is 2%. Right, it's two percent. That is the hoped for inflation. That is acceptable. We can live with that. It's not a big deal. It's two percent year over year. Uh, but we're now at three point eight percent. I believe is the uh, last number. Three point eight percent. Which uh, I'm not a mathematics expert, but that is twice of what it is supposed to be. They will continue to sell this to us as the election approaches. And they have no compunction about telling you something that is blatantly untrue. If it is going to, in their mind, cause you not to vote for them, they will continue to artificially manipulate. Inflation is coming down. It's come down 70%. But it was 9.1 and you were the reason why it went there. Yeah, but don't bother me with the details. It's come down 70%. Or if they can't lie with statistics or tell you a half truth, which is also a half lie, which means it's not true, then they will just flat out lie. Uh, never was this more apparent than yesterday when uh, Kamala Harris, the vice president, was sounding the alarm about what will happen, what dire things will happen if Donald Trump is elected in November. I, I believe this will terrify you beyond uh, anything the vice president could have possibly said. Has he openly said that? Uh, let's just submit for the moment that he has openly said that. If he has openly said that, I wonder where he got such a crazy idea. <laughs> uh, today, by the way, speaking of, of the Justice Department being weaponized against him, 
Uh, Donald Trump is in court trying to get some charges dismissed, one of the some of the 94 felonies. And we are hoping to get, perhaps about to get, the ruling from the Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee on whether Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade can continue their persecution of Donald Trump. Uh, we now know both Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade met with either lawyers from the Justice Department or people in the Biden administration in advance of filing charges against Donald Trump. Now, yesterday, the judge dismissed six of the counts against Trump because Nathan Wade botched it. He forgot to put in the charging documents exactly what laws the defendants supposedly violated. That is kind of a big miss. That's kind of a big miss. Hey, by the way, I'm indicting you for this, for violating the Constitution. Uh, I got a copy of it here on my desk. It fits in my pocket, but a little tiny print. It's kind of a big document. Could you distill it down for me? Could you tell me which part of the Constitution I violated? Uh, Nathan Wade, big racketeering expert. He must be. He got paid 600 plus thousand, hundred thousand dollars. He forgot that part. This is a minor oversight. You know, when you're booking trips to Napa and Belize, things can get lost in the details. When you're prosecuting a former president, a billionaire, a guy who can afford the best attorneys in the country, and you've got uh, your adulterous affair partner to keep happy by flying her all over the world, and not to mention keeping track of all the cash reimbursements she's giving you, Little things can get lost in the details, like actually putting in the charging documents what part of the Constitution you violated. So we'll see if we get McAfee's ruling today or not. I hope we do. I'm still not confident that he's going to take Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade off the case. See on Earth, and if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The All right, that'll do it. If you need flooring, reach out to me. Go to my website, brucehooley.com. There's a flooring form. You can fill it out. And if you are looking for the best steaks you've ever tasted, and that's not a lie. I know it sounds like a lie. It sounds like an advertising lie. It's not a lie. Go to riverbendranchsteaks.com backslash Bruce Hooley. Riverbendranchsteaks.com backslash Bruce Hooley. I'll put the uh, lower third here on the website so you can uh, write it down and check it out. You can get your steaks, your New York strip, your ribeye, your filet mignon, your ground beef shipped to you either every month or every other month. I don't think Butcher Box does that. I don't think Omaha Steaks does that. I don't think any other uh, meat service does that. And I know River Bend Ranch is the only one where from the minute the Black Angus calf is born, to the end of its life when it is butchered and processed, it's controlled 100% by one ranch. It's grazed on ranch land in Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. It is finished with grain grown on that same ranch. It drinks water from mountain streams. No hormones, no antibiotics ever. And every cut you get is USDA Choice and Prime, which are the top two cuts on the USDA scale. And I don't even think you can get those cuts in Kroger or in Giant Eagle or in Heinen's or in any other market. And if you can, uh, you're going to pay a lot more for it than you will from Riverbend Ranch Steaks. You're going to get about 10, 12 pounds of beef a month. You're going to pay around 150 bucks. Do the math on that. It's a little bit more than $10 a pound, which in this market, thanks to Joe Biden's inflation, is crazy low. So hope you'll check that out. I love uh, our Riverbend Ranch Steaks that we get shipped to us every month. You'll love it too. Hope you have a great day. Uh, enjoy the high school tournaments if you're going, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.